Hey guys, welcome to April Griot Designs. My name is April and I am going to show you how you create an index to keep track and log the months of the year in your digital bullet journal without having to aimlessly scroll through numerous pages to get access to the month or a specific page that you want in your bullet journal. So the first thing I'm going to show you are is my personal index and how I have gone ahead and kept track of this year so far and it's really working for me. Uh, for ease, let's get started in just the months of the year. Uh, currently, I have January through March hyperlinked so I could just jump right into those months. I'm gonna show you now how I set up for the month of April. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a text box. Okay. And I have already created a cover page for the month. It's very simple how, how to do this process, how to create an index. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on the, box, the text box that we want to link our page to. And we're gonna go on the bottom toolbar where it says link. You're gonna swipe down until you pick the page that you want it to be directed to or you have access to creating a new page. For this time, I'm going to click the cover page that I just made for the month of April, and it says link is added. So let's make sure that it did it correctly. You click on the month of April. Now it's hyperlinked, it's in blue and underlined, and you'll click go to link. We'll go ahead and we'll do another version of this. Click link. And now I will click on new page. And you will see that it will now take me to this page. And you can do this process over and over again um, until you have reached the full months of the year. I'm going to add a new page called um, spring cleaning list. So I can keep track what I need to do, and I'm gonna link it to a page that I have already made, which is this one here. Let's go ahead and see if this works, and boom. Very simple, very straightforward. I hope that this helps, and thanks for watching.